So I gotta bust into the dash again. Um, gauge is all froze up. You can see it's stuck at like 30. Uh, oil pressure, engine's not running. Um, the RPM is going on there. But it's not the uh, connector this time because I did look at that earlier. Refloated even again. And uh, it's no change. I did a little bit of research and digging around on forums and stuff. And there is a potential resistors on the face of it. So I'll have to take all the needles off, take the face of the cluster off and get to those resistors to see if they cracked or not. Like the hairline cracks on the solder joints. So I'm hoping it's just those uh, resistors that uh, someone mentioned is a common problem. Because otherwise we might be looking for a new uh, a old rebuilt cluster here if some circuitry is bad. Uh, the post I saw on some diesel form, Chevy Silverado Duramax diesel form was uh, talking about there's a bank of two I think and a bank of four resistors that get pretty warm, they heat up work quite a bit and that heating up cooling down eventually cracks the, uh, the solder joints and being that this truck is 20 years old Hopefully that's all that happened. I could just reflow it with a little bit of solder, a little bit of heat. And this will be back up and going. Because everything else about this truck has been doing great. Just been having some electronic issues. Alright, got the four screws off. I just gotta pull out this cluster. It all comes out pretty easy, pretty quick, just a few minutes. Let's uh, bring this in there and uh, see what's going on. So I'm going to get a picture of these gauges so I can put them back where they were at. Because um, i got to pop each of these needles off. And then install them back. So I'll make sure everything kind of ends up where it was at from the start. So pretty easy here. Just six snaps to get this casing off. This is all just loose in here. At that point, we gotta get the front shell off. Just the same thing. These ones gonna need a little picker tool to reach. The snaps are kind of tight in there. There we go. Whew, these front bottom ones are kind of tough to get to snap off. They have them hidden down there pretty good. All right. There we go. So yeah, these two clips are kind of hidden back behind the, behind the plastic a bit so you can't get your fingers on them. Alright, gotta pop off all these uh, needles. Alright, so I'm gonna use this little tool to uh, snap off these gauges here. Prime off anyway. Go. There you go. Those are all off. I should be able to just, there you go. All right, here's a circuit board. Now to do a little studying on it to see if I can find out what the problem might be. All right, I'll come back because this is going to take some time. But I see right here and here some heat. It's kind of browned up a bit. So I'm betting, I'm hoping that that's where the problem is. These are all resistors, 511, 240 ohm resistors. So let's focus in on those banks of resistors to see what we might have going on. So right here on this resistor you can see a clear crack going across there. Sorry I just had my coffee I'm a little shaky. But it's definitely 
definitely not supposed to be there. That could definitely be the problem that's causing the issue here. It's right down in down in there on that resistor down there, that 240. So we're gonna solder that up and cross our fingers and hope that solves the problem. All right, so I'm gonna just get a good solder on all these uh, resistors that show signs of uh, getting hot. Because seeing that one is just completely cracked open, the solder joint. Okay, so let's uh, get her put back together. I put this uh, cover here back on. Gonna check out the uh, needle positions. Alright, let's get these gauges back on. Okay, everything's kind of back where it was left at. Let's get the cover back on and see if this thing works. Alright. The back of the... Alright, it's back together. Let's go uh, try it out. All right, so let's test that fix I did on this uh, cluster. Soldered those resistors, reflowed them on. Uh, we're just gonna plug it in, give it a test. See if that did it. All right, turn it on. We should see all the gauges and needles reset. Uh, nothing, they're all still stuck. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it didn't fix it. So we're gonna have to, uh, i got some other means. Uh, reading on some forums and there are some companies that just sell you rebuilt instrument clusters that have all the fixes and repairs in it. So, uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's get this out and uh, see what we can do about getting a replacement. So I bought a rebuilt instrument cluster from ISS Automotive and I'm gonna give this a shot in my Chevy Silverado pickup truck. I couldn't get my old one working. I checked all the, the common problems with it and it's just uh, too far gone. It just won't, uh, doesn't work anymore. So we're going to pull that one out and we'll have to ship that one back to this company as a core and uh, we'll get this one going and hope I, everything works great. Alright, so let's just open this up. We got the uh, Rebuilt instrument cluster. We'll be using the same box to ship back my old one as a core. Um, they give you the nice little piece of information here. It's prepaid shipping to go back. Let's check it out here. It's looking good. Looks exactly the same as my old one. Alright, I have the uh, rebuilt instrument cluster from ISS Automotive. I'm going to put that in and hopefully everything lights up and it's good to go. Alright, it's plugged in. Let's uh, put the keys in here and see if the gauges all get going. I hope they do. Alright. I see life. So the battery gauge moved up to uh, about 12 volts over. Fuel, finally know what fuel we got. Ooh, 
Oh, everything's lit up and going. So it's looking like it's uh, good to go. It's just the other instrument cluster was toast. All right, let me get this fully installed here. So that's pretty exciting. Got the, all my instrument front dash back up and running. So I get these four screws in here. As nice having my drive indicator back too. That's been gone for 10 years. I haven't, you have to fish around to see what uh, gear you're in. Let's get this cover back on. As always, you have to kind of play with it a little bit to get it to go back. It's kind of a top, push on that top first. Then line up all the little uh, pins there. It should snap in. There we go. It's a starter. Alright, so we show uh, engine RPMs, oil pressure, battery, fuel, temps, everything's looking good, the brakes on, brakes off, sweet, so everything's uh, drive, everything's up and working again, so that's nice. Pretty happy about that. So I got this rebuilt dash gauge cluster from ISS Automotive. And I did the LED backlighting upgrade. And it's kind of a cool blue color. Uh, your OEM comes with a incandescent lighting and it's kind of a yellow color in the background. Kind of a yellowish white color, kind of like your old school incandescent lights. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks at nighttime. And it, uh, you can also still dim the LEDs just like you would the uh, originals. And you can turn them off so that you get the full functionality still. So there you have it a fully functional rebuilt gauge cluster from ISS Automotive. Pretty nice.